Brett Baer in Washington. A busy day here in the nation's capital. Several major stories happening here, but we begin tonight in South Florida. There has been a shooting at a high school in Parkland, north of Miami. Involving uh, the shooting that took place at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Broward County, Florida, uh, is at 17 casualties so far. Teenagers who survived a deadly mass shooting now calling out lawmakers demanding change. The Parkland incident uh, to me was uh, horrifying as a parent because, you know, no parent wants their child to be unsafe when they're at school. The, those recent events, it's one of those that just hits so close to home. And just in the sense, not only am I thinking I'm, I'm in control of a situation with my own students and how can I protect them and how can I protect and be involved in making our school safer. And then also in the back of my mind is, you know, I have four children who are in situations that could also have school violence. And, you know, just as a parent then, that also impacts me as well, which adds a layer of kind of concern over school shootings for me. Uh, that could certainly happen at any school anywhere in the country on any day. So it's, it's very frightening as a parent to know that those things happen. The recent school shootings have impacted me as a student by really making me more aware of my surroundings and making me form new opinions on things that I really didn't think about before this has started happening. They used to tell us to like hide and like get under desks, but like recently they've been telling us to run and like fight the attackers. The run, hide, and fight plan that's in place with the school districts, I think to me is a minimal. You know, your first option is it's going to be to run if you can. You know, try to escape. You know, that's a uh, natural uh, human instinct. It's really scary to think about, but in my classes, I always think like, what would I do if I was in this class and it happened? Like, how would I escape? Or like, where would I hide? You know, what would be my role if I made sure my students were safe? Where would I go into the community if we're gonna run? And, and if I'm gonna hide, you know, making sure I have things I can put in front of the door and that kind of stuff. Like if you see something that's out of the norm, tell somebody and it's more of just letting administrators know when there's something that seems a little off. My opinion on gun control is that people should have them for protection and personal use, like hunting, but within the classroom they shouldn't be there just because a lot of teachers could mishandle them, they could get scared and misuse them, and students could get to them more easily. But we've grown up in this gun culture of the South that, you know, it's kind of like a, a gun could be the answer, but I think, I think it's still part of the main problem. There's got to be some level of control, you know, no, this is not the wild, wild west, but just blaming everything on the guns and just outlawing guns, I don't think that's the, the answer. That's not what our society was built upon, and I don't think that will ever be accepted. Students who are currently marching for gun, you know, control of a certain kind, I mean, I think that's you know, represents a, a move and an attitude in our society that we need to do something. There needs to be actions that need to be taken. I think right now that there's not a clear definition of what their purpose and what they're trying to accomplish. In my opinion, if they were more focused and they could say, we want to do this, this, and this, and then there could be some kind of uh, uh, back and forth, then it would be much more productive.